Howdy, Possum Patty here and I'm junk journaling. This is my In the Haunted House Halloween Fall Memory Book. Something's been bothering me. Every time I turn the page, this little picture folder falls out. I think this might be too heavy for this little tuck. So I think the first thing I want to do today is maybe make a belly band or something on the back of this pumpkin. Something larger and stronger to hold this because it is very thick and heavy. Now I made this out of a piece of junk mail. And it's just a folder with some pumpkin pictures on the inside. But I put so many layers. I've got um, swirly shaving cream paper and then I made a black mat and then a pitcher and on the outside was a paper bag faux faux leather and it's just I love it but it's just too heavy for that other page so I think I'm going to work on this page and then I'll make something to put in here and then I have some ideas for some other pages so let's see how much I can get done right now I think I was going to cover this in paper, but you know what? I think I'll just paint it. I'm going to paint this and then put a belly band, a big belly band on here, and then slip that in there. All right, I'm going to get to work. Before I go over to the sewing machine and put on the belly band, I just wanted to show you the painted pumpkin. Do you notice how funky pumpkins are getting? People used to look for the perfect orange pumpkin. And now people are looking for pumpkins with spots and specks and warts. All different shapes and colors. This was on the back of the orange pumpkin. And on the back of the candy corn, I just gave it a very light coat of watercolor. And then I used a star stamp that I won from Linda's Mixed Up Mess. And I used a variety of different Tim Holtz inks, Spice Marmalade, Dusty Concord, Peacock Feathers, and Picked Raspberry. I had gotten a bunch of these really cheap at a tag sale, like last year, I think. And then I used my Stampin' Up, nope, this is, yep, Stampin' Around by Stamping Up Stars. And this I probably got like 20 years ago and just gave it two more stripes of stars okay so now I'm going to figure out a belly band to put on my pumpkin and there's my belly band I made one that's a little bit see-through so you can see my pumpkin underneath and I'm going to put the pumpkin pitcher folder Slide that right in there. Bow gets stuck a little bit, but that's okay. At least it won't be moving around every time I open up the journal. I could switch it to a smaller bow. There we go. Nice and sturdy, not moving around. Okay, now I'm going to work on let's see figure out where I am here okay that goes there and oh that goes here that goes there so I'm going to make something to put in this pocket right here. Oh, and the reason I made the back of the candy corn stars was because it's opposite this page with the witches who are wearing stars. So the first thing I did was draw with a pencil simple pumpkin on this orange paper that I originally had cut out to go on the back of this pumpkin 
but I wound up painting that. So now I'm going to make a little card to go in this tuck over here. And I have this uh, Charlie Brown and Happy Halloween from the inside of the card that I used on this page. So I think I'm going to maybe color them in and cut them out and put them on this pumpkin, maybe with Happy Halloween, and then put a picture on the back of that. And I've got a couple of other pumpkin pictures too that I might do something with. I colored in the Charlie Brown and what I used were these Spectrum Noir uh, markers. I think these are like alcohol markers. And then I took some orange stickles and some green glitter glue and made his shirt all sparkly. Now I have to wait for the stickles to dry. It seems to take a long time for glitter glue to dry. I don't know why. But I can't finish the back until that's dry, so I'm going to put that aside for now. So in the meantime, I was working on this little photo shaker card. For some reason, I have a whole pack of these little acetate bags. And so I cut down two family photos with pumpkins in them. And I sewed around three sides. And then I put in these little sequins. I think I bought these last year. But they look like fall leaves. Aren't those pretty? I got another bag with a whole bunch of different sequins in it too. And I slipped in some of the sequins. And then I sewed up the last side. And I put a eyelid in with my crocodile. And then I used up some of this yarn that I probably bought 15 years ago. Made a little scarf out of it and had some of this eyelash yarn left over. And it was beautiful fall colors. So I put that on the edge a little tassel and it was hard getting so much through that little eyelet so I used one of these sewing devices that help you uh, thread a needle and you poke it through the hole and slip the yarn in and then pull it back out and that really helped me get this fluffy eyelash yarn through that little eyelet so now I just have to wait for my stickles to dry and I'm going to finish up the back of this card. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm waiting for my stickles glitter glue to dry on the other card and I was just putzing around here with some things and I found this orange material in my Halloween decoration bucket over there and I have no idea what it's from or how old it is and I was just thinking about making a flip because I found this picture of some candy characters I took at Hershey's Amusement Park in Pennsylvania. And I thought candy on candy would be kind of cute. And I'll probably sew across the top there. And then when you flip it up, I have this picture of my son back in his karate days. Because a karate outfit's like a costume. And I think that would be kind of cool. So I am going to put the pictures on this piece of material. And then sew this to the candy corn. Okay, the stickles sparkly glue finally dried. And now I'm going to put something on the back of this pumpkin card. And I thought I would use this picture because he doesn't look very happy and put on this sign that says Happy Halloween that came off the card where I got the Charlie Brown. So I'm gonna cut this to fit the pumpkin and then put on the sign. And maybe I should put some color on this. We'll see. I finished the back of the pumpkin card. All I did was glue down the photo, 
put Happy Halloween, put a little bit of orange glitter glue on the sign. And now I'm going to put this back where it belongs. Okay, so the pumpkin card and the shaker card go in this tuck. And the green pumpkin goes over here. The green pumpkin now has a belly band with my folio in there with my pumpkin pictures. And on the back of that is the candy corn, which I now have a flip on here. And all I did was sew it and put a little piece of pumpkin ribbon. And there's our candy characters from Hershey Park. And on the back, my son in his karate outfit. And all this is just the first signature, which is not done yet. We'll go into my memory book. So thanks for coming along today. Happy junk journaling. Bye-bye now.